So right here is called uh, the Pont del Alma, I think that's how you say it. This is the tunnel where Princess Diana's um, vehicle crashed in 1997. I was only 10 years old when that happened, so right through there. And it comes out at the other end, and I'm gonna sh we're going to show you the other end also. There's uh, another structure we'd like to show you. So this is a tunnel that she went underneath and this is like a memorial for her. It's also called the Flamme de la Liberté. This is the tunnel that they, uh, the car entered, right? Where she died. Here and then there's the uh, little memorial, also the Flamme de la Liberté, which is the exact replica of the flame that's on the Statue of Liberty. It's pretty interesting, yeah? So this is the Pont de Art, which is like the bridge where all the the lock the lock bridges were for locks. For people like would declare their love and then they would lock it up and then they throw the key into the water here. But I think they've taken all the locks off because now this is glass. It used to be like I think it was like fence or like chains or something. And they would like lock up, put their locks around it. But now this is all made out of glass, so people can no longer do that. But what I have been noticing is that people are now putting the locks on the light posts right up here. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Interesting, huh? Okay, I think it gets called Pont de Art. It's the bridge of arts, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong. Let me, let me know in the comments down below. So we passed some more locks. And this is Pont de Art. The love lock bridge. The lock were replaced by this fiberglass right here in order to, to not destroy the architectural structure of the bridge. So we found the uh, area where I think they actually moved the locks. They moved the locks or it's just a new area where they put more locks. We just purchased a lock of our own. Let's show the lock. Only for three euros and they even have an engraver. A person who like engraves the lock. They have everything. They've thought of everything. Alright, so where is a good spot to put it. <laughs> of course the spots by the water are all full but it's okay we can put it here and then throw the key in the water all right is that it mm -hmm. so okay just remember it's right there <laughs> we're on like the one two three four five okay i'm not even going to count them all there we go all right all right the lock of love so since you locked it i'm going to throw the key into the water ready oh we're just doing french so there it is, in the water. We have been searching everywhere for this ice cream that was recommended to me by Patrick, one of the YouTube subscribers who watched me. And this is it, Amarino. Amarino. I was told it's an Instagrammable ice cream cone. And they make them look like little rosebuds. So this one we found in the Latin Quarter. Yeah, this is in the Latin Quarter. This is the one that I got, it is... Hazelnut and caramel. I almost forgot a little macaroon. Moved into a place where they make art. I know they make art with ice cream. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so this is John's ice cream. What flavor did you get? I got uh, chocolate and stracciatella and then uh, caramel macaroon. Nice. I got a caramel macaroon also. So now it's time to Snapchat these. Thanks, Patrick, for this wonderful recommendation. I already ate my macaroon. So good. The ice cream was amazing and now we are here at the Notre Dame, however you say it in French. By the way, it's a really hot day today, I think in the 80s. It's a warm day. That's what August in Paris is like, right? Which is our warmest day here. Yeah, thank God, it was freezing in England. It was freezing in England. You know what that means? That means it's time to go back to USA. Back to America we go. So we enjoyed our three days here. It was wonderful, amazing. Um, food was good, the weather was really good. And now we're heading back to Miami. We might get seats in business class, so fingers crossed. Yes? Yes? Oh, we better. <laughs> <laughs> we better. So, all right. Let's go check out of the hotel and then be on our way. Hi everyone, see you back at uh, 
back in Miami. Now see you in business class, so that's what we're going to film, in business class. Oh, well, I will see you in business class, and then in Miami. <laughs> we got our business class seats. That's our plane. That's our... 777-200, so we arrived here on the 787, and we're going back to Miami on the 777-200. So these seats are a little different. Here, again, we got our headphones. And I don't know, look, look at these tables. They, Little outlets, plugs. Get my your menu right there. All right, so look look at the menu here. What are you doing? Are you looking at your menu? I am looking at the menu. What do you think you're gonna get for dinner or for lunch, rather? Well, so you have a choice of the slow cooked short ribs, uh -huh. which sound good. The Moroccan chicken, seared turban, and the goat cheese stuffed gnocchi. Mmm, the gnocchi sound good. The gnocchi sounds good, and the Moroccan chicken sounds good. Well, mm -hmm. so does the, the short ribs, but I think I might go for the chicken. Yeah, because of the couscous. How do you like um, business class? Do you hate it? Oh yeah, I hate it. You hate it? No, it's the worst. Back home now. Um, that was the end of our 10 day away from home, but seven days in Europe. Yeah, seven days in Europe, two in Chicago. I got these. You got those. I'm gonna, and oh, and a little gift. Oh, from, yeah, and the amenity kit from business class. Yeah, so I'll see if uh, maybe a co worker who's traveling so, yeah. might need it. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Subscribe. Subscribe.